The huge debate, football versus football. I've had this debate about a million times since I've came to the US, and most of which have been with TYT Sports uh, panelist Ben Mankiewicz, because he consistently likes to rile me up. But I want to talk to you guys about it. Joined by Michael, Pablo, and Damien. Let's get into the debate. We want to talk about uh, the sport which is known worldwide, the beautiful game, and then that other sport. What's it called again? American football. No. Nope. My joke. Oh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, an unbiased opinion. Let's just talk about this, both of them logically. First and foremost, Damien, coming from uh, the United Kingdom and then coming into the United sure. States, you've had a taste of both. So yep. in your opinion, what sport resonates higher? To me, it's a very short conversation. <laughs> uh, so soccer, as we'll call it, for you know, because we're in the United States, uh, is a global sport. Um, you know, in, in the 80s, in 1983, in the UK, we got our fourth television channel, uh, and it was called Channel 4. We were very creative with our names. <laughs> that was a good, great name. And they were struggling for programming, so they came up with a 90-minute highlight show about American football. So 45 minutes was, this is, this is the game of the week, and they'd stop it and they'd, they'd teach you the game. You know, this is how the game works, etc. This was a golden age. This was William Perry, Joe Montana, Dan Marino. It was, it was pretty cool. So my dad and I would watch it, and it was our wonder years sitting on the couch. We'd watch this. Right. We got really into it. The sport actually gained in popularity. Then they made a horrendous mistake. They showed the Super Bowl live. So we sat up to watch the Super Bowl. Oh. And two hours in, we were going, what on earth is this? Yeah. This isn't a sport. This is, this is essentially a performance that's put on. There's actors in it. You know, we were used to seeing American women in shoulder pads and tights. We didn't expect to see the men wearing the same thing as well. <laughs> and the sport just plummeted in the UK. And I think it's so American a sport. And I actually, by the way, these are the best athletes in the world, I believe. But, but I, don't, I don't think the two compare as, as a sport. I think it's a performance, American football. And I think it has its place. It's so uniquely American that it doesn't translate anywhere else in Well, I think that it's, first of all, anytime you have the best athletes, and I think some American football players are the best athletes competing against each other, then, that, then it's clearly defined as a sport. But I, I, I think, you know, my philosophy with all of this is that if you get people playing the game, then you'll appreciate the sport more. Uh, the, the National Hockey League, just to go back to my favorite sport, they, they put teams in Columbus, Ohio, and Atlanta, and Tampa, and Miami, Miami. and... They didn't build rinks for kids to play. Right. They just put a team there. Sure. And unless they built, if I was the commissioner of the NHL, I would have built rinks all over the country, get kids playing, sponsor that, take a little loss at the beginning, have it be a loss leader. Sure. American football is never going to translate until it's played in, mm. in, these, in these sports. It is a stop-go sport. It is, it is 14 seconds of action uh, interrupted by two and a half minutes of delay. All the time, and that's just, that's a problem with watching football. It's probably why you're, you and your dad were um, were were so frustrated watching the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl is not indicative of what a Sunday Agreed. American sure. Sunday is is like. Um, that being said, you know I I happen to think it's a it's a better sport because I grew up watching it. Didn't grow up watching uh, soccer. Um, we'll call it soccer because that's what it's called. Um, <laughs> and and uh, and you know. And by the way, any any time a sport can be nicknamed footy, it's not the toughest best sport. <laughs> just just so, so you know that. But but I you know I see the arguments for it because the the conditioning, the the competition, the closeness, the fact that there are international sides. I'll give you that um, playing one another. Other. That doesn't exist in, in, in football, but it is so uniquely American that I think it, it, it shows so much about, in microcosmic ways, about what our country is. So I, I think it's a stronger sport, but I think, like you said, it has everything to do with the fact of where I grew up sure. and what I grew up yeah. playing yeah. and watching. Well, Americans love football because they're the best at football. Why has baseball gone down? Because Americans are no longer the best at baseball. The best baseball players are now mostly Latinos, so now the sport has dropped in popularity. They love American football because other countries cannot beat us in American football. Now, I'm a weird perspective here because I'm from Argentina, but I moved to Miami in 1983. There was a guy named Dan Marino playing for the Miami Dolphins, so I became the biggest Dolphins fan, biggest American football fan. I still love the sport. My argument with you, you're saying they should build rinks to bring the popularity of hockey. Well, that proves why soccer is the best game in the world because you don't need rinks. You, know, you don't even need basketball rinks. You don't but, even need but a But you ball. need leagues in order to well, get no. Americans to play soccer. No. And that's what happened when they came over here. Yes, some, it, it, it existed in, but in soccer, communities. But soccer, any kids in Brazil of can... Of course they, they can. can just like basketball. Tie up but, soccer balls and play. That's but, what's mm -hmm. awesome about that's the sport. That's absolutely true. But you have to organize it in order, in order to have kids play soccer. 
you have to organize it. Yes, they can go on a field. Avenue, but play. in the United States, I'm, I'm talking about gaining popularity here. In order, yeah. you have to give people incentive to do it. And and yes, you can go out on a field and kick a ball around, but you're not watching professional athletes do it. So yeah. you're not cultivating that sport here the mm -hmm. way football is done. You can go out and pretend oh. you're Dan Marino right. or Joe Montana or you know William Perry, who just got you know who clumped in a great group of people <laughs> by you and your dad. He got promoted. Uh, well, but he and just totally got promoted. And he was first. You know, he yeah. mentioned him first. And nobody here knows so, him as William Perry. It's right, that's true. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So the proper English, William Perry. <laughs> that guy, that number 72 for the Bears. Bill Perry. <laughs> I'm going to uh, actually surprise a few people because I think it's almost an unfair argument, right? Because uh, in the United Kingdom, we live and breathe the sport. You're either brought up playing football or you're not. And people will make an argument, oh, I play cricket and I play rugby, but... That's not, it is true, but it's just not even in comparison. It's not like uh, basketball, baseball, football, hockey, then soccer. Yeah. Because these sports just don't, they don't matter enough to the people of this culture. We are grown up to just watch it week in, week out. My mum knows more about soccer than any probably American athlete knows about soccer, even mm -hmm. if you've watched it, because sure. she's just been around it, right? So to make the argument, I, I, as much as I would love to sit here and say that soccer is a better sport because it's worldwide and it's renowned, it's almost unfair because you are grown up in the United States to watch a sport for a certain view, a certain uh, number of months. You're not grown up to live and breathe it because there's months where you're put off from it, and that's yeah. what that's where my problem comes from the NFL, and that's what everyone else's problem comes from the NFL. You mean that you the take outside. that when the season ends, it's you're only a finite yeah. period, right? It, the problem that, that furthers that is there are four major sports here. Yes, some, exactly. Some will argue that there are three, but uh, I'm going to include <laughs> the NBA. Um, yeah. But the the uh, the the thanks. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 you can move on to the next thing. Football yeah. ends, and you l watch Twitter, yeah. and everybody's right. saying, oh, uh, pitchers and catchers report in 27 yes. days. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's a big problem for me. And it, uh, we could get into another debate about it, which I love to talk about, is why that soccer is not as big and it's not growing. I mean, it, it's, it is growing, but what is helping it grow? It is the international drawing, sure. and it's the World Cup, and it's the Premier League. And I think it's also attention spans. Yes. Because... People here in this country have always said soccer is so boring. It's the longest game, 90 minutes, played in the shortest amount of time. There's yeah. no commercial breaks. There's yeah. hardly any time. I was like, oh, he's on the ground. He's, he's faking it for like 10 seconds. Hey, NFL, there's commercials every two seconds. Yes. NBA, there's a timeout every and, two and, seconds. And, and, and I think I, people I, I are finally coming around yeah. to noticing that sure. soccer is a quick game, nonstop, year round. action. But, but I, don't, year round. I don't think there's a problem with American football being uniquely American. I think the fact that it is a slice of American life is great. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. it is. But I think... When people try and talk of it as a pure sport, is it's not at all. It's the most manufactured sport that there is, and we should accept. We're, you know, we live in the land of Hollywood. It is the most yes. manufactured game that there is. I mean, it's certainly the best marketed game. It's yes, brilliantly absolutely. marketed, but even the setup of it. You know, this deflate gate thing that, that took place, <laughs> which was, you know, okay, so you have your balls and we have ours, and you can really do with them what you want, but but don't cheat. That's a different there's show altogether. There's millions, of, there's millions <laughs> of dollars at play. That is a different show altogether. Millions of dollars at play, but don't cheat. It's like putting a three-year-old in a room with a bar of chocolate and saying, don't eat that, right. seriously, <laughs> and expecting them not to eat it. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with them changing the balls, wherever it may be, but let's just accept that it's a performance sport. Yes. It's not like a pure sort of mano a mano combat that I think at times it can be set up to well, be. I, I would say it's more mano a mano than you're giving the credit. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm defending football, and there's a lot to criticize about the way the league is run, et cetera, mm -hmm. and they've certainly had a terrible year. But they've also they've marketed it well. I mean, everybody pays attention now. They cover this thing called the combine, and I don't know if you know what the combine yeah, yeah. is. Sure. It's, well, yeah, that, it's absurd it's, that we're it's, watching, right? And then there, the draft is a prime time <sighs> show right. that's now moving city to city. Because of fantasy football. By the way, yes. guilty of watching it. Yeah. You, sure. know, I, you know, and, and so, but I do think that there, it is, you know, that it's okay for it to be uniquely American. And yeah. I do think that, you know, I, that they've sold out a lot and they've, they've uh, sort of made it a little bit more antiseptic than it mm -hmm. ever was. There was a time when it was a little bit more mano a mano. And, yeah. you know, and even you, I, your argument is great about the, the patience. And yeah, soccer is over. Like that, right. when you even though it's 45 minute halves, it's yeah. it goes by. The other thing that football has, there's only one NFL league. There's only 30 teams. Soccer, there's some bad soccer being played all around the world. Yeah. People watch the Real Madrid, the Barcelonas, but if you watch like Division Two from Colombia, it's not going to be a good game. NFL, there's only 30 teams. Now, why? For the God's sakes, why the, do we keep sending the worst teams to play in England? The Jaguars go to England, sure. the yeah. Raiders go to England, and you guys are selling out Wembley, so it shows there's still love for yeah. the sport. And by and the way, the, 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 the reason, the reason they're sending the worst teams is because the worst teams 
are the most likely to relocate when they put yeah. a franchise in London, yeah. which I think they right. will soon. Yeah, the Jaguars could be And I don't think team. it would be a disaster. I think no. it would be a good idea. Yeah, yeah. so it, they'd have to work out the travel schedules for right. yeah. schedules. Um, <laughs> and we understand, like, for, from a world basis, the, the soccer is, is incomparable, and it's never going to be comparable, I don't think, uh, whilst in my generation and in my lifetime. However, I live in the United States now, and it continually frustrates me because you try to adapt the same structure you take for baseball, football, and NBA into soccer or football. Having playoffs, having combines, oh. having drafts. You don't need that. Lionel Messi is the best footballer potentially to have ever graced the game. You think he's going to run and jump and lift weights the way uh, an athlete is supposed to in the soccer industry here in the United States? I got invited to a couple of combines, and I, I think I turned up for about five minutes. I was like, you want me to lift that and jump that? Why? I can get the ball and put it in the back of the net. That's what's important to this game. And the problem is is there is no competition other than going for that title. Like You go for the, the first place team like in MLS, and that's it. There's no relegation battle. There's no fight to go up and relegation down. Relegation like would be great in some that, of the leagues. Here. That's it what it needs be to be done. Yeah. And I, I, I'm afraid that because the reason why soccer still doesn't gain that popularity is because it's still classified as one of these American sports when it is an international sport. And in order for it to grow, you need to take the international perspective. Have relegation, a battle of relegation. I know there's plenty of teams I was involved with. The, the problem LA with Blues the NFL here. is what, what they were talking about, which is that if you relegate a team in the NFL, who are they going to play against exactly. to get yeah. back in? So, there's so that, and I mean, in the NFL, I don't think you should change the it. Yeah the, yeah, the NBA potentially. I don't Great. think the NFL you're willing to change. The NHL anything. could works. have relegation as well because there are minor league teams all over Canada and the United States. It would, yeah. could, do you think it would work for the NHL? Well, the to problem do that? is, that, yeah, it would work for the NHL to do that. But you, let's say you relegate a team, right, and then you lose. Let's say the St. Louis Blues don't make it in. Right. Example. Right. There's too much they're, money they're, in TV rights. There's too much teams. money in TV, TV. rights. There's, they have a, a big stadium that they fill all the time that they yep. wouldn't if they were playing against Binghamton. You know, so right. that's that's yeah. a problem. But back to the argument, which is the better game? I like football, our football, soccer, because China can play against the U.S. They can play against Argentina. They can play against England, and there's not that much size discrepancy. NFL, American football. There's 300 pound guys. How many countries in this world have 300 pound offensive linemen? Yeah. You know, six foot seven uh, linebackers, the defensive ends that can run a four three. One country. Yeah. That's it. So that's Samoa. Why, yeah. <laughs> yes. They all make it. It's like 50 percent of Samoans make yeah. uh, college football teams and the NFL. It's amazing. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm over that. All right, guys. Great argument. Again, uh, we want to continue the, the debate to our viewers out there. Make sure to leave your comments in the section below. Let us know what you guys think. Make sure to check out all of our amazing panelists here and subscribe to TYT Sports.